Are we dismantling him from the from the culture? I am. We are because of his opinion. When he, this the man that gave me college dropout. I don't want white people saying that. Well, you guys had a choice. What's wrong? But that's slavery. That's the problem. That's why? Good. Why are we? You know what hey. nobody's talking about? I'm sorry. Yeah. Nobody's talking about this motherfucker just bought 300 acres in Wyoming. Right. Come Absolutely. on, man. You think he woke people up? I think he woke us up. What do y'all think? Y'all not. Now we good. This was an emergency, man. Right. I had to call this meeting because of what's going on right now around the world, what's being blasted on social media. Mm -hmm. I had to call the fellas and we gotta come we gotta talk about it because I, I, I saw especially my boy Oliver, he has some choice words to say. <clears throat> Mr. Oliver, can I put out what you said? Yeah, I wanna can I? so mad, go ahead. First off, I want to uh, personally say congratulations to my brother to my left right here because he about to be a, a homeowner. There you go. You know what I'm saying? He make that big, he making that big move. Tell him, Clyde, they buy 2018 cars, they buy 2018 right. houses, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get built. Yeah. So here we go. My brother Oliver, he said, if you're on my friends list, <laughs> and agree with Kanye about slaves having a choice in slavery, please remove yourself ASAP. Yeah, no. Black or white. Yeah. Because I feel a rant about to come out. Absolutely. He's passionate about this. He means it. Mm. My family is Geechee. Getting Geechee, honey. So with his home a little bit more than you would believe. Expand on that, man. Expand on what you on, on how you feel. If you didn't know by now, if you're listening to the podcast, we're talking about Kanye and the whole uh, thing going on with what he said, his dialogue, with the the, the, uh, the interview he had with Charlemagne. Expand a little bit more on uh, how you feel about that. So you know, like I said, you know, my family Geechee. When I was told as a kid was Geechee Wave, but I didn't understand what Geechee was. You know, what Geechee is, is it's, the, it's the West Africans that ended up alongside South Carolina, a little bit North Carolina, Florida, things like that. Uh, a lot. And then once uh, slavery was breaking through, they were set on an island. And as they were set on the island, they had their own language, they cooked their own foods, they were a community of people who were still lost tribes regardless. Mm -hmm. But they created their own community to say, hey, look, we don't know where the hell we at, but we're gonna, you know, create this culture and this way of, you know, communication between each other so that way we can remain, you know, independent after slavery. The thing that hurt me the most is, is that when you say we had a choice, and I'm gonna go into a little deeper later, but when you say we have a choice, I think about my grand, my great grandfather, like, damn, how did he know which way was north? You take West African slaves and the North Star, you know, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the like follow, the drinking, go. Man. You, How do you know we're from the South, man? We know where so, North is. So, so, so think, but think about this, though, right? <laughs> yeah. If we ended up in Mississippi, yeah. and you make a wrong turn, you end up in Alabama, you end up in Georgia. We didn't know what a Mason Dixon line was at yeah. that time. Right. How do you know to keep continuing going north? So when Kanye said we had a choice and we didn't fight back, man, that shit just kind of it bothered me. I don't know how it made y'all feel, but it bothered me. I want to interject. You know what I'm saying? Man. No, no, no. Yeah. Please do so. Okay, so. I want to put this the best way I can because I don't want to get Kanye in there. Nah, nah, <laughs> you know what? He's, he's, I think you about to you, you, fall into my. Uh, I think when you <laughs> say, when you say something, it's like the way people take it. We're in 2018, right? Nobody could really speak on <laughs> from his point of view, not 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 your grandmother's right, or grandfather's right, right, point right. of view. Right. From a new age point of view, your thought. This is like we walk around, right? And you'd be like, ha ha, man, I couldn't have been no slave. I would have ran. So, yeah, right, not me. Yeah. But that, that, that's, that's the thought process of today because of what we know now. I think when Kanye said that was a choice, understand the real thought process <clears throat> behind that was a choice. So, you ever seen Birth of a Nation? Nah, I missed that one. Okay. What? <laughs> I, I, bro, I missed it. I okay, it. so. Don't follow me for <laughs> <laughs> So, look, man, there's a scene on Birth of a Nation when they're on the boat. It's three men sitting next to each other. Yep. One man says, yo, exactly we need to kill the slave master now. We need to do this now. One dude is like, 
Hell no, nah. I'm about to, I'm about to kick it. You, I might die for you. And one dude was like, I'm with whoever it is. You see that choice in there? But that's what the life we live in now. There's always going to be somebody saying, we need to do this. We and it's, not, it's always too. It's like it's a truth. And there's a right and a wrong. But sometimes you gotta do. You gotta do the impossible to make things change. So I feel like when he said, "Let's kill it," now he got killed. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But you know why he got killed? Because he ain't had nobody behind him. The choice, the, his choice was already made for him. He knew what he was gonna do with or without everybody. So, so here's my issue with what you're saying as a disagreement. Mm-hmm. My problem is, is this: is like I hear exactly what you said. You're absolutely right. I think the problem is it trickles down from education, mm-hmm. right? We don't. The only history we know is the history that's told to us. Yeah. And you gotta understand, these are West African slaves that came from different tribes. Don't know each other. Probably didn't even like each other. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Like, like and we deal with the same thing now. You black, but you grew up over here. I grew up over here, mm-hmm. so I probably didn't like you from the beginning. We already had our own internal issues. Yeah. I think what Kate Kanye is doing is because technically we still have those same issues today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those same issues. With Bloods, Cribs, GDs, Vice Lords, the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. It's the same exact thing. Now, to circle back to my point of what I'm trying to say is, Kanye, man, we don't need you, someone who has a voice, to influence my 11-year-old son and say, well, maybe I should love my enemies the way this happens. Because when they bust Trayvon Martin, when they kill Trayvon Martin, mm-hmm. when they kill uh, 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 Sterling, when they kill uh, my man. As a matter of fact, get this. Uh, two... But two years ago, I bought stock into Taser, which was the body cameras that the uh, police were supposed to be using. They got bought out by another company. You know I made $30 per share on that stock. You want to go tell nobody? No, you know it's funny. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm, on, I'm, on I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on Facebook, and I'm going through my memories. I'm like, yeah, let me check that. 30 bucks on that stock. And I said, what? Where's the justice? So should I not be upset? Should I not? Should I be like, well, I'm good. Should I made money on that stock, you know? But you still got kids out here getting killed. There's no convictions. My problem is you have a voice. And for the people who are in tattoos on their face and undecided, you're steering them this way. Kanye West is the most influential rapper of all time. Yeah, he's my more than More than Tupac. Yeah. I, I grew up on Tupac. But when I say influential, you got kids wearing tight clothes, dying their hair, yeah. rapping. Travis Scott now has his... He is influential. So when my 11 year old turns 17, 18, he's going to follow the way to Kanye West because yeah. Kanye West is cool. So are we dismantling him from the from the culture? I am. We are. Okay. I am. And this is why I want to come in. Okay. Okay. Let me oh get my God. Head. I got to say. Okay. This is my problem. And I think you agree with me on this. <laughs> this is my problem with that. You ever had a family member that just is fucked up, just do something stupid and. You still love them. You still got to love them because that's your family. Right? Absolutely. So, with that being said, <clears throat> check this out. Kanye gave us college dropout. Kanye gave us Jesus walks. Kanye said, Donald, he said, uh, President Bush doesn't like black people. During a time where nobody in that era ever spoke out on politics. It was foreign. Nobody did that. He was the first one to do that. Right now, it's normal for anybody to get out and speak on politics and rap. But Kanye was the only one who named somebody. On national TV. On national TV. Called them out. And you remember the, the reaction like, what the hell was going on? Yo, he was a revolutionary for doing stuff. And like, I don't think... This is, this is, this is what I'm saying. I can't, I cannot wipe him off the culture uh, or dismantle him or, or, or do what a lot of people are doing, boycotting him and saying he ain't shit because of his opinion. When he, this the man that gave me college dropout. Do, do you know so why I gotta. Do, do you know why you can't do that? Why? When he talked about that with President He's Bush. still us. He's no, still no, no, us. No, no, no. We're gonna go back. We're gonna break it down fact by fact because you're giving out facts. So I'm here to read. Direct those facts. Yeah. You said that when George Bush was in office, mm-hmm. he came out with that. Social media was not having the impact in the culture it does today. Mm-hmm. My problem with Kanye is the impact that he has in the culture. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we're not tweeting, we weren't Instagram, we weren't making memes about this and making decisions. Like, think about it. This is the most dialogue that black people have had in their household over the last two days at a kitchen table than they've had in decades. Yeah, I Think about it, right? So my problem with Kanye, the reason I'm disconnecting from Kanye and I'm boycotting Kanye, is Kanye, I got kids, man. Yeah. You're influencing my children. 
the way they think. I'm dad. I'm lame. I'm this. I'm that. I'm disconnected. But if you're going to sit here and tell my kids it's cool to pop pills like Future does. He didn't say that. What did he say? He was no, no, no. I'm just pills. saying. I'm saying like Future. We're talking like Future, who has an impact on the kids popping oh. pills, popping mollies, and smoking weed and all this other stuff. And Kanye, Kanye West has that same influence. I'm disconnecting you from the culture, bro. Because he said something that I really liked in his rap with T.I. He was like, should I rap about gangs and this and, and, and selling drugs and things like that? And I was like, man. I said, yeah, man. I said, you sound so smart on record, but you're bringing confusion to the table. Okay. I got, I, I got something to say for that. I don't know what part of the interview that was. No, 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 no. That, that's from a song. Oh, that's that's Dave versus the people with T.I. There you go. Oh, man. Okay, so look. Yeah. So look, man. Why, as soon as we don't like an opinion, we cast them out. That's what Why? As, okay, so like, but what, so if he came back next week and was like, look, maybe I said this wrong. Maybe I took everything I said wrong. Do we take them back? Can you accept them? It's too late. You know what? I don't want no. I don't want you on. Listen, man. I fuck up every day. I I don't want you around me if as soon as I you know. Now, granted, I'm not gonna be out here wild. But if I say something off the wall, I don't want nobody to just be like, Yo, Carter. I never want to be around you no more because. Okay, you farted. <laughs> you farted at my yeah, wife's, yeah. Uh, I don't know, fashion show or something. You know what I'm saying? It just looked bad. Yeah. You made all black people act that shit. I shape. don't think he made us look bad, though, man. I, I don't. don't. With Kanye. I think he woke people up. I think he woke us up. What, what y'all think y'all not paying what, attention? What, what, is, what, is Jay, what is Jay's end goal here? What is everybody? Nothing what is this. end goal here? What, what, is is everybody, goal? what is everybody at the house doing? Like everybody at the house was complaining about why don't nobody go to these bad schools and talk to these teachers? Who why said, every but person who said but who said it not? But where, where are you? What, all right, so where my thing is with all these Twitter fingers, Facebook fingers, Instagram memes, where are all these people who read four hundred paragraphs today alone in comments doing for the community? So, so okay, so let's so let's, let's rewind a little bit. Jay Z drops four four four. Talk cheating on his wife. By cheating on his wife. And it's the shit. It's confession. It's saying, hey, we need to buy land. We need to get back to fixing our credit. We need to be like Jewish people. Yeah. Right? These are two icons. Of Best course you do icons. that, though, after you fuck up. You got to come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. What I'm saying is, if you my right-hand man, mm -hmm. we've had offline conversations. I'm mm -hmm. saying that about to empower the people. Mm -hmm. You come behind me and say, fuck it. But what did he say? Oh, yeah. What what did Kanye honestly say that was like, yeah. yo, my kids hear this, they gonna go outside and start shooting motherfuckers. I, I, I think what my biggest, and that was cool with Ye, and his, you know, genius, because I think he's genius, and I've always been a Kanye fan. I think that Kanye is a brilliant mind. Mm -hmm. He is a walking brain. The problem is, is when that TMZ interview came out. My only problem with him is saying it was a choice for us in slavery. My thing is, wait, wait, before, wait, you said TMZ. How could the brother... From TMZ have an opinion on what Kanye said when it's his sole job to make everybody look bad. It's his job. He works for the company that sole TMZ's sole purpose is gossip, making people look bad, and telling people who got divorced and married. But, and you don't want nobody to know. But I, I guess my issue so is... So isn't that hypocritical? No, I don't think so. I think that's his job. And then at the same time, you have to step outside your boundary. You, you do security, right? Mm -hmm. So think about this. That's the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 you know if you have to disarm a man with a gun, are you gonna call the police or are you gonna go in and risk your life over your job? Why are you trying to put what's going on here? Well, no 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 no. I think I'm like the guy at Waffle House, right? The kid at the Waffle House, uh -huh. he risked his own life to go in there and try to get something done. He went in there, risked his life. But what did he say? Did you hear what he said? What did he, he say? He said I'm not he, a hero. You know why he's not a hero? Why not? Natural, all right, you know, we have the lizard part of our brain, which is fight or flight, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You in the bathroom, oh. motherfucker in there, shooting everybody up. It ain't about saving you, you, and you. I gotta get home. Yeah. I don't think he came out there like, oh, Yo, I got you. Hey, Oliver, watch out. <laughs> he, he, he went in there, he saved himself, which, in, which inevitably saved everybody else. And I think that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm getting at. I'm saving myself to read him on this podcast today and say, listen, as me and my house, Kanye West is not accepted. I'm from Chicago. He's not accepted in me and my house. You understand what I'm saying? I can't save the world like Tupac said. And then the other thing he referenced Pac, he was just like, yo, Pac said the same thing. I may not change the world, but I'm a spark. Yeah, you're doing the same thing. 
Because the influence of hundreds of thousands of kids, like even think about the Trayvon Martin thing. I keep bringing back Trayvon Martin. I'm scared to wear a hoodie at night in Marietta. Yeah. In Marietta? I hate Cop Cop. But that's that's the I images mean, that you know what I'm saying? saying. But look, man, but the truth the truth is we've been portrayed. Yo, my man, let me tell you something. You see a group of white boys with B-shirts. All right, you 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 walking through them. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't scared. Yeah. You see a bunch of dudes with beards, and may, maybe you know, it don't even matter what they got on at this point. It's a bunch of black dudes with what? beards. You not going It's the images. They could just be a bunch of college kids, really grade A students. They not. You have to hear well, them talk the before you. But does the media not have a, a, a big, you know, what I'm saying place yeah. into that? Exactly. Because you got to think about it. You absolutely right. When I'm on the plane. Let me see four of them op mods come walk past me. See? You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm bracing because you got to think about CNN is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. What about the terrorists that didn't shout out the schools? The guy that shout out the Waffle House? Why are we not scared of the white boys? You understand what I'm saying? Because that's the image that's the image that's been portrayed. But look, as soon as a black brother do something that we don't like, we disown them. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we can't, can't do that. It. And that's what we're doing with Kanye. Absolutely. We disowning them because of his opinion. And I think all he's doing is teaching us. I think Kanye's sick. Yeah, when I Malcolm, know, when Malcolm X first started, they ain't like it. They didn't like it. They ain't like it. Right. 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 it's like hey, it made so sense. Right. Right. My mom, my mom, uh, she, she told, she told me and my sister that she always viewed the Black Panthers as bad people. Because yeah, of the way yeah, that they yeah, showed yeah. it on TV. Absolutely. Absolutely. In hindsight, she was like, man, these people was really, she from a little town in Mississippi. She Absolutely. don't know no, you know, she ain't know no better. Absolutely. But on TV, they, they, they showed them as like the villains. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But in hindsight, and, and, it's like, yo. And, 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 that's, and that's my case in point, right? So Kanye, if Kanye is considered not a villain, what happens 20, 30 years, 40, 50 years? All the kids become free thinkers. And everybody. Is that safe? Is that a word you really want your kids to say? Yeah. Absolutely. What's wrong? But that's slavery. That's the problem. That's why, why are we scared? Uh, you listen to what you said. You can't be a free thinker. Absolutely. I can't say what no, I want. No, 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 no. Free thinking. Cause that's one. Of, that's one of the things that we would get. Free, you know, freedom of speech. I get that. I love it. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. What I'm saying is, like, when you got people like Donald Trump saying what he really feels, does that not have an influence on these white boys in here? Like, think about it. They call it. They use the word nigga in a rap song, right? And this black man ain't gonna punch him in his face. Because it's not socially correct. I don't want white people saying that. Well, you guys had a choice. Like, 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 like it was our fault. That's what my problem. Yeah, is. yeah. You got Kanye. I mean, yeah. they, they, you you had to say that. You, they, he's excusing. I got. I get that. I get that. I, but see, that's the, yo. If I, it's, it's a conversation that we should have had together and not with the world. We do thank, that too often. That's, we put it on TV. That's all, I think that's what I'm and saying. We need to. We need. We need some camps to back come to, together. Back to and, what you said. And like the, the, the drunk uncle in the family. Mm -hmm. He's at the family reunion. He ain't coming to your work nah. ball with you and your wife. Nah. But he's gonna stay at the family reunion. Yeah. Right? So but I'm not dismantling him from the world. I right. still my uncle. Right. Hey, and I'm gonna claim him. Kevin Hart loved his dad through all the fuck ups in public. Okay. Right. Right. Now I know that was his dad and he was meant to do that. But we hey, I think it's just it's time that everybody is now noticing that this little device in our hand is a small platform. Absolutely. Everybody, you could go viral. You could be, yo, you could make it big off of a, a simple. We have platforms. So we going viral. Go my thing, hey, <laughs> my thing is, if you don't, all right. So people don't like what Kanye is doing, but did everybody watch the, the Kanye and Charlamagne? In the I movie? did. There's a lot more. See, the no. media is going to portray. And you know what hey, nobody's talking about? I'm sorry. Yeah. Nobody's talking about this motherfucker just bought 300 acres in Wyoming. Right. Come on, man. Absolutely. You just Absolutely. see that? The man bought 300, 300 acres in Wyoming. He's yeah. talking about building cities. Yeah. He's but, talking about he's going to be the greatest architect of all time. He's a revolutionary. And I think that's great, right? Yeah. But and, and, well, fuck all that because he said what he said. You yeah, see? Yeah, that's, 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 that's how I feel because <laughs> this is why I said it. The, me... You, I think us three, we're smart enough to say, man, we need to buy land. We should buy 300 acres. Yeah. Right? I agree. Good. Now, Kanye, in the hands of the wrong person, them 300 acres is not where I want. Right. You oh, see, so Kanye is not in the right hand. Absolutely not. Because he's not. I, think, I literally think Kanye's sick right now. I, I literally think that, he, that Yo, he's, he's, is, he's This sick. is a question I want to ask y'all, man. Is this a plan? But before the album, Man. or is this just Kanye? Is he being strategic with what he's doing? I don't think Kanye ever needed a platform to sell an album. Mm. I think Kanye is 
Kanye, you just said, it's like he has the most influence ever as an artist. What? People don't even announce their albums no more. You just go on Apple Music and be like, oh, this, this shit, oh, it's yeah. Drake don't, I mean, he, sometimes he do, but I mean, people, look, man, I think the issue we're having is we're all starting to wake up. It's too much information to process. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. been thinking for years. Yeah. Now you got all, oh, <laughs> Kanye's just hitting them every yeah. day. Yeah. But no, but they're not even putting the, the, the issues in order. They're just showing you snippets and people are just running with it. Y'all didn't see the part where he, he went up to the brother, they cut that off, right? When he went up to the brother at the end and said, hey, if you feel the way, I apologize. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Everybody's not going to say it the way you want them to say it. Maybe if you had a conversation on face to face, how can you understand me? That's like everybody watching this right now. And I say something, right? They're going to be fuck, fuck Trey, fuck him. His stupid ass opinion agreeing. They don't even know me. But maybe if we sat down and we had a real one-on-one -on -one conversation, it would be different. I, I think that the evolution of Kanye West mm -hmm. is what is bringing so much confusion. You got to grow. You know, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the evolution of Ye being this super pop, but not even being a superpower, the super ego saying, I'm the greatest rapper. Like, that was his main thing. Then it went into this fashion. Then it was like, hey, I am this. I'm the God. I'm a God. Then he gave us that bullshit album, uh, Jesus. Jesus, that came out just to fuck with it, just to see how we would respond. Mm -hmm. And now it's the common music that we have today. Like, I don't understand half the shit that's on the radio, but it took four or five years for us to get it. I, that's why I said Kanye to me is a genius, yeah. but Kanye, for you to be so much of a genius, I would think that you would know better to be careful with your info. I think, mm -hmm. I think that he's so, he's, I think he's ahead of time. I think Kanye is 20 years down what, the road. What message, though? But with what? But it's message? going to be hilarious. What message? What message? It's going to I be. Get that. I get that. Listen, when he said, like for instance, with the with the lipo thing, mm -hmm. it's a grown man saying. He he was saying the reason I went and got lipo was because I didn't want y'all to judge me like y'all did Rob. No real grown man rapper would ever say nothing like that. But he, he's like doing it because movie. he wants you to know, like yo, this that's slavery. He's slavery, he, and, and, and he's 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 telling us that hey. We don't have to be slave to this no more. Just like the 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 the, the, folk, the, the, the being a slave for four hundred years. He's saying we don't have to do it for four hundred more. Yeah. Now we can change. We have Kanye single handedly oh. came out with a yo. He like he said. And what what yo my man, <laughs> my man came out in rap, dominated, destroyed the game. Right. Yeah. Came out in fashion. Yo. His company's on at a billion. Yeah. How many years has it been? And Three years. Yeah, Louis Vuitton shoe. But, but, but you got to think about this, though. Money, okay, would you rather be, and I asked this question before, would you rather be guilty and wrong or right and innocent? I'm just going to be broken and innocent, broken and innocent. The reason I'm asking this question, Kanye is going to have a billion dollars. No doubt in my mind, he's, he's a Kardashian. He will touch a billion dollars. Hey, he's a West. I respect my man. Like, <laughs> I got you, guys. How Kanye. much of that billion dollars will touch back to Chicago in our communities? Yeah, we don't know. We, 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 how much of that is going to touch back to Why? Is money the problem? Absolutely. Okay, That's so go, go find those I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm sorry bro. Absolutely. I don't think money, I, I mean, some, I just don't feel like money is the problem. Let me tell you why money, money You can't throw money at something all the time. Do, do, you, do you know your president? No, I know him. Do, no. you know your, do you know your president? Personally? Do you know your president? Yes or no? Do you know your president? I want you guys after this podcast to go check out on Netflix. There's a uh, six piece six piece series docu series on Donald Trump. I study my enemy, right? Donald Trump. The reason Trump has been doing the shit he's doing now for thirty fucking years. Yeah. Donald Trump redid Central Park mm -hmm. when in eighty five when I was born. I didn't know what Central Park was. Mm -hmm. I just knew it. I had no idea my president today. Took that piece of land and called the mayor and said, "Hey, I'm looking outside my window and this uh, uh, skating ring is still fucked up. I'm gonna fix it." He went on and did a big publicity stunt. Central Park gets done. He gets all his fame and glory. All Donald Trump is is he has all this power because he had the money, he had the resources, and he had the media. That's my problem with Kanye. You're dealing with a mega monster who can control and shift. So if Trump said, "Nigger, nigger, nigger, nigger." Well, well, maybe they are niggers. And half the population is going to say, maybe they are niggers. Because he has the money, he has the power, and people look at money as power. And then you also think about it this way, too. What laws? All the people that not want to say it so bad on Facebook, and I'm glad you went on my Facebook. I wanted to say this, and I want to have this conversation. All the 
HBCUs that have graduated uh, doctors, I mean, not doctors, but lawyers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, people in law, and we still can't figure out how to prosecute accordingly for, for blacks getting killed? It's not enough compared to... But how is it not enough? It's not, like, you, you'll no, listen, listen, think, think, I want you to slowly think about this. Get on some Kanye West, elevate, and take out everything around you. Think about this. How many graduates from HBCUs are graduating with law degrees? A lot. A lot. But that, that speaks right into what you're saying with the slavery thing. You know what I'm saying? Bingo. Like, yo, we Bingo. don't, it's a choice. Bingo. We Bingo. gotta, we, we don't come together. I'm, that brother get that degree from HBCU? I mean, like, we don't, we got a band you together. Guys see, Somehow. Did you guys see the mayor of Birmingham fighting with his dad after a press conference? It's circling around the internet. You guys will see the new black mayor of Birmingham, Alabama, is fighting with his dad. His dad is frustrated. He told him, son, I told you, you need to do something for black people. You need to do something for black people. And they have all these cameras up against him. He's disowning his dad right there in front of him. And his dad is going on. His dad down there in tears like, son, I raised you better than this. And I told, and I called you this morning before you had this press conference. That's what I'm talking about. You try to go tell Levi to love his enemy. You tell your granddaddy to go tell Levi to love his enemy and not love himself. My problem is we can't love our enemy until we love ourselves. We don't have the resources. We don't have the resources. Yeah, it's we don't a catch have the resources. Because it's, it's, a, it's a catch 22 because the moment you stop, you, they, gonna, they own the position. You only there because Bingo. of them. You only Bingo. there because of them. Bingo. So if you let them go, only thing you got is your people, and your people ain't doing shit for you. Because our people. So can't now, do it. exactly. Your so you can't do it. What can your people? Can your so people you can do more work infiltrating. You can do more work infiltrating. Being a yeah, buddy. It's kind of like a, a tactic. What else you gonna do? They own the position. That that, that scares me though. Because yeah, it scares you. But like, I feel like that's what Obama was. Man, I feel like that's what Kanye do. Let me, let me Kanye is for your This podcast. the dude that drug is just let to get it for your podcast. Back your money to I'm gonna say this for your podcast. Come on, man. And I want you to put this in the headline. Oliver Emerson said, "Fuck Obama." I don't even know what to say to that. That was like when Kanye said Trump. Like, that's gonna be that's gonna be the that's gonna be our clip. Oh, all of us said, okay. So why you say fuck Obama? Because you gotta think about it, man. We have we have been enslaved for the years, physically, not economically. We were still enslaved. My the word minority. I think we talked about this last time. The word minority fits the classification of Hispanics, women, and now it's going into gays and lesbians. When Obama was talking about minority rights. He's talking to everybody. What has he done for black people? And we, as black people, we always say, well, you know, I mean, they should have it too. They should have it too. Do you know Hispanics, when you fill out a job application, are you black, Latino, or does it not ask you if you're Latino? Yeah. Why does it not ask if you're black? Directly, one line if you're black. When a job application? Yeah. It says Hispanic or non Hispanic. <laughs> yeah. What is Hispanic? You know. No, 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 I don't know. <laughs> what is Hispanic? What is Hispanic? It's not Mexican. I mean, it's not fully just Mexican. That's a broad That's a broad term. When we talk about minorities, we're talking about gays now. We're talking about women. And no offense to women. I have a daughter and I have a wife. But what I'm saying is, what has anybody done specifically for black people other than the Black Panther? My grandmother was a Black Panther. And she still won't talk about it to this day because she doesn't want anybody to know. My thing is this. What are black people doing for black people? What can black people do? Yo, why is everybody saying that? Yeah. Yo, then we oh, have black Wall Street. I don't Obama. get it. <laughs> look at us and we, and we ain't doing so nothing for ourselves. So we can't do nothing for ourselves. What was Obama supposed okay. to do? Let me ask you this. This is my other problem. It probably might be headline is too. The church, and my wife and I had this conversation last week. The church is the most influential uh, uh, uh anything in the black community, am I right or wrong? Okay. We communicate through the church, yeah. right? That's if you want to tell the people something, we gather at the church. You gather at the church. Look, man. No, 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 no. Gather. The church tells us to pay 10%, but don't tell them what to do with the other 90%. Mm -hmm. And you're a leader. You yeah. are a leader. But you why know? Why are you putting your faith into another man to tell you what to do with your money? No, no, no. What? It's the same thing what you're doing even with the white man. Well, we'll see. The white you man know, you know, you know, know, we the, the, the white man is, no, no, no. Okay, my thing is this. That's not, that's, that's society. My thing is, we, all right, so look. First off, let's let's get this. Because it's a lot of it's a lot of fire coming out of 
No, my thing is this. Because me and Carter had this argument with so many people out of jobs. You own a house? Yeah. You own a house? Yeah. Okay, I just bought a house. Yeah. So we own land, right? Now, truthfully, we don't 100% own, own, own the land, but it's a start, right? So we can do something, right? Yeah. So if more of us started to think, hmm, maybe we could make our own community. Maybe we could start doing things. Maybe more fathers and mothers could get together. Maybe we could stop looking for TV shows for hope. Maybe we could start looking to white people to accept us. Why do we want... So, and I, I, I don't have no problems with white people. This is, the conversation always turns to race, but what are we doing for each other? Uh, you are good with money, ain't you? You good with finances, ain't you? Ain't, ain't you a little decent? Absolutely. Okay, so are you are you out here getting a little youth? Do you have a bunch of 15-year-olds that come to your house Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to learn finances to make some good? They parents not going to do it because their parents don't know. So it starts with the people who know, but the people who know don't have the time because they too busy trying to get themselves together as an excuse. And then the other black people don't want to do nothing. Then the black people up there ain't doing nothing, so nobody does anything.